Sub everybody. Uh, I feel good. Um, definitely feel, you know, surreal for real. You know, um, just feel great. I know the whole um, state behind me. You know, and I'm excited. Just feel good to put on the red, white, and blue, especially watching it as a kid and being around, you know, Detroit sports as a whole um, growing up. Um, just really just me being myself, but also tapping into a, a vocal leader. Um, and I think that's a big, going to be a good challenge for me because it's going to be like one of the um, first times like in my career where that's going to be like something that they're going to be looking for for me to just kind of be a, a voice, you know, with my resume and just like the experience that I've ha have been able to have in my career so far. So. I think really just being me, playing the right way, bringing energy, trying to be consistent as possible every day, um, and just just have fun with it. But, but vocal, I think, is going to be my biggest challenge. Uh, I'm I'm ready for it though. Yeah, I mean, for me, I just try to, um, you know, tell guys, you know, the more we can get a shot to the rim, one better chance we'll have to score the ball, but also limit other teams' fast break points. And um, I think the more we can kind of install that as a, a unit to try to get, um, you know, a shot to the rim. Um, and I think we're going to have a great um, – DNA with that. Um, Coach Williams and uh, other coaches he brought along has have experience being players and also coaching. So his foundation, I feel like, um, is going to be very good for our group because we've been we were real diverse, being young and then mixing in a few um, older guys. Just talent. Um, it's so much talent. Uh, as far as teams I've been on, it's definitely one of the two teams I've been on where, you know, pickup games. They all competitive. Um, both courts is competing. Um, good talent. So um, I feel like if we all can just stay, you know, like a fish most of the season, um, and when things get tough, yeah, adversity, the more we can stay together. Um, which I've seen this summer, um, I think we can have um, a, a good restore and um, get the city buzzing again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm sure, you know, coach and everybody you know, will do that as far as roles and putting guys in places on the court, you know, to sh show off their strengths and be successful. So um, my role will definitely be in some situations just trying to talk guys through it. Or if I see something and there's guys like Jay, Jay Nivey, um, Sasser, like they we play pickup and they ask me questions like, yo, what you think I could have did right here? Or like how you get this shot off or how did you make this pass? Um, I think that's big for me just to be in that role and try to help guys, uh, you know, whether they playing great with 30 points or they playing low. And you just got to kind of stay even kill. And I feel like that's what I've been doing my whole career, just trying to stay as even kill as possible and not try to, you know, look at the negative comments and <laughs> try to focus on the positive as much as possible, which is almost impossible. but. The more we can stay even keel as a unit and play for we, not me, I feel like we got a good chance to do something special. Um, 
I mean, win games. I mean, uh, but that's every team. Um, you know, every every team in the league, 30 teams, everybody coming to training camp, fired up, you know. Um, the teams that stick around is the ones that's close-knit um, and care about the guy next to you, you know, opposed to the guy, the guy name on the back of your jersey. So we can do that, and I feel like, you know, Coach Monty already put his foot down in Troy and those guys coming in day one tomorrow. We know what we got to do. We know what our expectation is. We know what it is to be a, pist a piston. Um, we got to stay disciplined, play together, you know, and share the ball. Um, I think they made it well known at our meetings. So that's the DNA, and that's going to be the focus. Yeah. Um, we haven't talked really about the in season tournament. I'm still trying to learn more on it, and it's my first year dealing with that. Uh, also, but I feel like our goal don't look down the road too far take Monday with Monday, take Tuesday with Tuesday, and just go down a week like that. Um, I've always been like that, and I'm sure Coach Williams and the, and the guys um, that he brought along with is going to pre preach the same thing. You know, the moments you start looking down the line is when you have slip-ups against teams you're supposed to beat uh, and things like that. So it's something that I'm sure if we win it, um, it'll be a big accomplishment, but my – it's nothing like making the playoffs, bro. Like, like that feeling, playoffs. Everybody, I wish everybody could get that feeling because once you get it, it's addictive. And um, I think that's our goal. More importantly, to get to the playoffs and started in April, opposed to, you know, end season tournament. I think it's it's a good thing, bring light and views to the NBA. But if I had to pick one, it, it would definitely be us playing in in April. Um, showing that Detroit Pistons fight in the playoffs. I think that's more of a goal. You said this was one of two teams where you got really intimidated. Yeah. What was the other thing? Uh, 2018, 2019 year uh, when I was in Denver, you couldn't tell the starters from the bench. Uh, I mean, you had you know, me, me and Jamal match up. You had Gary Harris and Malik Beasley, Torrey Craig and – Michael Porter or Vando and Paul Millsap and Mason Plumley, Nicola, and you had Isaiah Thomas with us then. Um, yeah, man, we had uh, we had some battles. I mean, it was fun, but just the feeling that I got with this team because any day you can come in there and lose four games and pick up, and then you can come in there and win. And, it, and it's been up and down the whole summer, so um, that's why I say that. Um, you know, he's a guy that I feel like um, he never, you know, you watch some coaches and you play against them and they, you know, they real, you can see their demeanor change throughout the game. I feel like he was one of those coaches where you never seen him sweat, whether he was up 20 in a dog fight or losing the game. I feel like he just always was complacent and that's, that's something that stuck out to me because that's how I kind of play as well. I don't like people to know when I'm rattled or when I'm wearing, you know, my heart on my sleeve or just being obnoxious. And I just feel like that's what you need from a head coach. Um, Cause when you, I was always taught, um, my mom said, you know, the head coach can't never sweat cause the players is looking over to him. And if they see him like that, and then it could be a spiral effect with the team. So that's one thing that st stood out for me playing against Monty. Uh, in the playoffs, and also just playing against them throughout throughout my career. How important was it for you to Um, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. It was it was cool to have it. Uh, shout out to AB. Uh, yeah, we swapped uh, some numbers or whatever. Um, but I just appreciate him giving me the opportunity. You know, he said, you know, you back home. You know, he wanted me to feel as comfortable as possible. And, um, you know, I salute him, you know, being a vet. He ain't have to do that. Um, 
So yeah, it feels good to wear number five. I wore number five with Team Detroit um, when I was 15 and under, 16 youth. So it kind of feels good to wear for the Detroit Pistons now too. Yeah, um, not really. I just was, I went to go see my mom in Clarkson and then I went to Grand Blake football game because one of my guys, I won two state championships. He assistant coach now. So I went to go check them out, gave them a pregame speech. Just told them, be a star in your role. You know, you might not be the guy running 80 yard touchdown, but you might be a guy that's blocking for that guy. But y'all all on one accord. That's kind of was my message to the team. Uh, they went out there and won by like 40 after that too. <laughs> but um, yeah, and I was just kind of close to home and I seen um, my high school had a football game. So I stopped by just to show my face and um, it was a good feeling just to get that feeling back um, and just see just see everybody in the community that kind of mold me to the person I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just just be Monte. Like, keep that smile on my face. Keep being an inspiration to kids that come to the game. Um, keep being that role model that people fell in love with. You know, when I was coming up through the ranks and when I won two state championships at Beecher. But I feel like for me, this city just loves guys that play hard. Uh, they lay it out on the line every night. That's where the respect gonna come from. You know, I can't control if I make shots I can't control if I miss them I can control my heart and you can see how you can see how hard somebody playing and the impact how hard they want to win without them scoring that's just the how it is so I feel like that's what I owe the city um if I'm gonna put this jersey on I gotta you know play hard so I think that's what I'm gonna do all time Flynn starting five that's a good question. Uh, Mateen gonna kill me about this first pick, but uh, point guard, uh, I'll probably go Eric Turner. Okay. Yeah. yeah uh, at the two, I'm going kind of tall. So ET gonna be at the one. And then at the two, I'll probably go Glenn Rice. Uh, can't forget my, my beach boy, Roy Marble. I gotta put him three. Um, the four in this day area, small ball. So I'm gonna go Jeff Gray at the four, stretch four. At the five, hmm. uh, I already got a Beezer guy on there. Uh, <laughs> um, mm, you could, but. I like I like more old school guys because they kind of was. You need a you need a uh, I'm gonna put Antonio Smith just because you gotta have like a Ben Wallace guy on your team. You gotta have he ain't worried about scoring, but he gonna go get you 30, 20 rebounds with that group. So yeah, but the bench would be phenomenal. I put Charlie on the bench, Charlie Bell, Mo Pete. I bring all the Flintstones off the bench, my team. Yeah, it'd be good. It'd be good. Yeah, yeah. So it's a, it's a solid team, though. But yeah, yeah, that's it, though. Yeah, appreciate it.